Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Archaeologists have discovered a rare death mask on a beach in Florida and the media are reporting that it could date back thousands of years. Experts say that this is a sign that there are more ancient finds nearby. A team of researchers with Seafarer Exploration Corporation found the metal artefacts on Melbourne Beach and believe it served as part of a funeral headpiece from an Inca or pre-Incan civilization in Peru, as reported by Fox 35. What makes this find extra special is that the ancient mask, which would have once been gold-plated, contains a precious metal known as iridium, which reports say is likely to have come from meteorites. Because of its rarity, experts believe it was part of a funeral headpiece of royalty, which was taken by Spanish tomb raiders and treasure hunters. Former MIT professor Dr. Michael Torres, who found the mask, told Fox 35, This is some of the earliest evidence of man's ability to metalwork and to use iridium. That changes things, and may change the way we perceive ancient Peruvian cultures. He believes that it was seized by Spanish conquistadors and was part of a cargo of looted treasure that was being transported to Europe. The ship, known as La Conception, that was travelling from Cuba to Spain, sunk due to a hurricane in 1715, and Torres has been searching for the treasure for the past 11 years. He found the mask with a metal detector, and it will be given to a museum after further tests have been performed. Interestingly, Torres says that it was looted from the enigmatic site of Machu Picchu and is part of a lost haul estimated to be worth a massive £4.2 billion. But of course, to history, the finds are priceless and would no doubt fill in the gaps of the lost history of ancient Peru. The actual composition of the mask is mainly copper but also contains gold, silver and iridium. Torres said they had to, at one point, figure out blast furnaces. It took serious thought to smelt this. Is this material evidence for a pre-flood culture in South America? Torres believes that the mast could be one of the earliest known examples of human metalworking, and Florida-based news outlets are reporting that some archaeologists say that the mast could be between 10 and 12,000 years old. Of course, the Inca formed in the Cusco area of modern Peru in the mid-12th century AD. So, if this turns out to be Inca in origin, it is no older than 800 years. The earliest evidence to date for smelting activity in this part of the world comes in the form of copper slag from the Huancaranara site in the highlands of Bolivia, dating between 900 and 700 BC. With this in mind, the mask is likely to be no more than 2,500 years old, as some experts claim it is also classically Inca in style. It looks to be a portrayal of the Inca god Viracocha, one of the most important gods in South America, referred to as the Great Creator. Interestingly though, Viracocha has origins that predate the Inca. He was the supreme Panandian creator god. In basic terms, mythology says that Viracocha rose from Lake Titicaca during the time of darkness to bring forth the light, creating the sun, moon and stars, and he created giants by breathing into stones. He apparently destroyed the world with a great flood and then created humanity. The various reports of this find vary a great deal and there are a lot of speculative claims being reported. For example, scientifically speaking, iridium doesn't necessarily have to be meteoritic in origin, as it is also found in alluvial deposits associated with gold, and therefore may not have been a deliberate addition to the metal alloy. But of course, it could be, and Torres said, to contain iridium, it came from a very, very important or royal tomb and was likely on its way back to Spain as a gift to royalty. Reading the news story, this find did excite me as I was hoping that we are finding conclusive evidence of a far more advanced civilization that existed way before the Incas. It is my belief and the belief of many that the incredible stone walls and structures of Peru are certainly pre-Inca, from a lost ancient civilization, and this includes the enigmatic site of Pumapunku in western Bolivia. The Viracocha face on the mask does have a striking resemblance to the Viracocha depiction on the Gateway of the Sun at Tiwanaku. 
Many independent researchers, through observing astronomical alignments using computer software, believe that Tiwanaku is in fact 11 to 17,000 years old, which, if true, certainly has implications for the age of the mask, and hence the age of South American civilization. But here I should add that other researchers say that Tiwanaku dates back to no later than 200 BC to 110 AD, due to radiocarbon dating of organic material at the site, as well as the style of pottery found at the location. Scientifically, the age of the mask is unconfirmed, and clearly it is open to debate. If nothing else, I hope it does lead to the discovery of the ancient Spanish shipwreck of 1715, so that we can create a better picture of the history of ancient South America, and then we can rightfully return what is owed to Peru. Next month I am launching a second YouTube channel called Space and Planet, which will focus on Earth and space science news, as well as independent scientific research. Please subscribe now to give my new channel a head start and I'll begin making videos next month. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.